Hey everybody, it's the Boss Lady here. Coming to you real quick with a Dollar Tree product review. Um, I had been asked by a few different uh, subscribers who want to know what was my take on the products that um, I had purchased. And so I want to do that review for you. Now, if you remember, um, oh my gosh, months ago, I had picked up this Diabetics Foot Cream Skin Protectant. It says, relieves dry, Crack skin, soothes skin discomfort, fragrance free. So it looks like this. This here, I love. Um, I picked up a few tubes of this. I even told my mom about it. Uh, she's no longer diabetic. She has been cleared, doesn't have to take medication anymore. Uh, but still, you know, I want her to protect her feet. So um, I had her pick this up. She loves it too. Um, I like it because it's not really a greasy feel to it. It's thick enough. It holds to the skin. It knocks out the ash. So um, I usually put this on at night before I go to bed. Um, sometime I'll do it if I'm doing like a pedicure. You know, I'll put it on and maybe put some little footies on and just kind of have those on for a little while and then take those off go to sleep. Um, or I'll even put this on before I, you know, run out the door, gonna wear some sandals or flip-flops, which I'm not wearing flip-flops much, but anyway. Um, so I really, really like this product. This is a great product. Um, I do have one extra tube. I'm gonna pick up some more because this is a product that I really, really love. So that's this one. Um, you guys know I had picked this up recently, probably within the last month. It's called the Spa Naturals Coconut Oil Moisturizing Cream with Vitamin E for Dry and Sensitive Skin. It says use on, for use on the body and hands, elbows, knees, feet. So it looks like this. This, I don't like. Um, it's very, and I should have brought an extra, uh, towel out here, um, it doesn't really run out of the jar, but it's a water water base to it. It's not it's not creamy to me. Um, it doesn't really it doesn't really um, knock out the ash, as I would say. Um, like I just lotioned my hands. Actually, um, I had too much on my hands of this, and so I'm still rubbing my hands, just rubbing it in. But this here, I could put this on my hands, on my feet. I put this on my feet. Like getting out the tub and within 30 minutes, if that, my feet are ashy. I don't like that. I like my feet to not be ashy, not be greasy, not be looking like I don't walk through some flour. Um, this product here, I do not like. Um, I haven't thrown it away. And let me show you how much is in there. So you can see I only use so much of it. And I gave it a few days. Um... Boss Man and Miss Peanut, they love the smell of it. And the smell, it smells really good. But... It's just, it's not a lotion for myself uh, or my family. So, you know, I may just keep this, you know, if somebody happens to come by and need some lotion, here you go. But, uh, yeah, th <laughs> this is not for boss lady. So, because I picked this up thinking that, you know, this would replace my tube of coconut um, body cream, it didn't. I went back to getting this one. So this one I really love. I hauled this a lot last summer and um, I got it for myself, for Miss Peanut, everything, you know, um, and we, we really like this product. So this one is a win-win for Boss Lady, but this one here, mm, -mm. Now, um, I had picked this up because I had seen numerous videos and posts on Instagram about this daily defense with the macadamia oil in it. So these products here. So I picked these up and I washed my hair roughly about, um, I don't know. It's been almost a week, I would say. And first of all, I don't like the shampoo. The shampoo is, it's like this to me on my hair and I have thick hair I have naturally curly hair so you know I need something that's gonna get in there and you know work its magic this not so much what this did it locked up my hair now mind you I am oh my gosh I'm what seven months post uh relaxer or whatever so you know um this did not do anything for me. I mean, maybe if I was 100% natural, 
maybe but this right here it locked my hair up it had my curls so tight i couldn't get the comb through it i said oh no this is not it now the conditioner was a lot thicker oh i'm sorry i'm showing you the conditioner I'm talking about the shampoo but the shampoo was it's very runny to me compared to the conditioner so anyway the conditioner is a lot thicker so what i did was i tried to put the conditioner on let it sit on my hair let it condition and you know i even had my conditioner cap on and i said okay maybe that just soften up the hair no even the conditioner the shampoo and conditioner oh my gosh for me now this may work for other ladies but for me for a boss lady this is not a win um but i'm not gonna throw it away because i found an alternative to use this so you guys know that um i mentioned probably in previous vlogs or whatever that i'm going through a transition with my hair so i have been you know rocking either some like single lace twists or you know wigs or whatever so this particular wig is my favorite <laughs> y'all seen this probably like all week the last two weeks ever since i took my single lace out but anyway um i i got the type of wigs where you can wash them yourselves at home and so um i use the shampoo on my wigs now for my wigs totally fine you know because you know, I mean, it's not really technically my hair. So, anyway. Um, so, I use the shampoo on there. You know, I let it soak and, you know, work it through. And then I put the conditioner on and just worked it through. And it curled right back up. I mean, it's like looking very, very healthy. Almost like I just bought it. But, anyway. So, <clears throat> I will keep this shampoo and conditioner for my wigs only, but my natural hair, my own hair, no. I will not be using that Daily Defense any longer. So, um, another product that I picked up from Dollar Tree is the VO5, or back in the day you used to call it Vidal Sassoon. But anyway, so VO5, my mom used to use this on me when I was a little girl. And I'm so happy that Dollar Tree was selling these products because this works out great. Now, I have been suffering from some little dry scalp, so that's why I have the dry scalp one. I think they had another version, at least one or two others, not sure. But this is the one that I got. And my shampoo is like almost gone, so I need to buy some more. And this is actually my second set of buying the shampoo and conditioner um, from Dollar Tree. But this right here, this works for me. So, um... You know, and it has almond oil, uh, yeah, almond oil in it. And I like the, the shampoo. I like the conditioner. Very nice. My hair is soft. You know, I can wash it, pretty much wash and go, you know. Um, but that other stuff, mm -mm, no. Everything that's sold at Dollar Tree is just not great. I'm sorry. And I'm a Dollar Tree hauler, so I have the right to say that. But um, if others like that Daily Defense, go right ahead. But uh, as for me and my head, yeah, I will use Daily Defense on my artificial hair. How about that? So just wanted to do this uh, Dollar Tree product review real quick so you guys know that, yes, I'm using the products, um, at least trying them out. And I was going to try the Daily Defense one more time, but no, I'm not going to even put myself through that pain. I don't want to put myself through losing no hair so yeah because <laughs> i don't like when my hair locks up you know i want to be able to wash and comb and brush straight on through so yeah so daily defense will only be for my artificial you know girlfriends so with that being said y'all y'all like my bracelet i got this from miss pretty and flawed i'm sorry i got it upside down <laughs> but anyway i decided to put it on today because i was feeling a little bossy <laughs> feeling like a boss anyway Gotta go. Gotta get some things done. So, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.